As a daycare provider, it's taken me a lot of time and money to figure out the best products that work for me when it comes to meal times and cooking. So I wanted to share my favorite products with you today. Hey guys, Sarah here from Work Life Glue, where we glue work and life together one piece at a time. So we do videos about daycare, which is what my full-time job is, but we also do videos about time management, working momhood, weekly prep vlog, crushing your goals, and so much more. But if you like this kind of video, make sure you give it a thumbs up and subscribe. We would love to have you as part of our glue stick family. Now, today I'm gonna to be talking about meal products. What products I love when it comes to meals. I also have a whole slew of other product videos when it comes to daycare. My favorite diapering products, my favorite infant products, baby proofing products, nap time products, and so on and so forth. So if there's any other product type of video that you would like, please leave it in the comments and I will probably film it soon. So like I said, today I'm talking about mealtime products. So the products that I use at mealtimes and while cooking for my daycare. Now, I'm sure we all use a lot of products when it comes to cooking and meals, but these are the ones I use that I love. And so I'm not gonna mention every single product I use, but I wanna talk about the ones that have really helped me that we use every day and that have been really functional for me. So the first thing I wanna show you guys is my daycare cabinet with all of our utensils, cups, bowls, and that kind of thing. So here in our kitchen island, on half of it, we have a cabinet with two wire pull-out drawers. The bottom I use for snacks and baby items and stuff like that that we use often. And the top I use for all of the stuff we use for meal. Um, I will link to everything in the description that I can find things for. But when it comes to daycare with the kids, I use these plastic silverware fork spoons. They have held up really well over the years. And then for the babies and toddlers, I use these like kind of like sporks as well as these spoons. We use mesh feeders, and I go into a lot of this more in my infant product video, but just to give you guys an overview. And I really, really love these little sippy cup tops that you can put on any cup to make it into a sippy cup. So that's really, really nice too if you don't want to have extra sippy cups. Then when it comes to plates, I got all of mine at Target a few years ago. They still sell them in different colors. So they're all these divided plates. They are microwave, dishwasher safe. They are BPA free and they have held up so well. They clean really nicely and I always put my fruit here, vegetable here, entree here and it just has worked so well. They're the perfect small size. And then we also often will use these little bowls for yogurt, cottage cheese, soup, um, that kind of thing. But we do have these bigger bowls as well for like cereal or, you know, I could put soup in here. Um, you know, anything that would you would need a bowl for. And then for the kids who are like almost done with a sippy cup but can't quite use a cup yet, I just use the take and toss cups because they're so cheap and easy to replace. I do like the Munchkin 360 cups and I did use those for a long time because they really teach kids how to use a cup, but I just found that they started to leak so soon after buying them and when you have kids who drop things on the floor, I was just very sick of cleaning it up all the time. And then for the big kids, all I use for cups for them are just the really inexpensive ones from like Target. They're not the really big ones, they're the smaller size, they're like a dollar or less, and I get them in the different characters, and each kid has their own cup until they fade, and then I buy new ones. So I have a lot. Um, but it's really nice because each child knows which one is theirs. They have a different one. I try to get one that kind of, you know, matches that child's preferences. So my daughter has princesses because she likes that. I have a little girl who loves Minnie Mouse. She has Minnie Mouse, a boy who loves Paw Patrol, a boy who loves superheroes, and so on and so forth. So they have one that fits their preference and they're really easy to clean and reuse and not too expensive so I can easily replace them. And then we do occasionally use the little Dixie cups for like yogurt if we want to dip our fruit in it. Um, you know, little things like that occasionally we will use. Now similarly to the cups I use, the water bottles I use for the kids, I also buy at Target. They're really inexpensive, usually in the Bullseye's Playground dollar area. 
um, and they're just a dollar. I get the character ones that look like this. They're really easy to clean and they survive many, many washes, but if they get wrecked, it's not a big deal. I haven't had any issues with leaking or anything like that and I like that each child can have their own character. If you can get their character on their cup to match their water bottle even better. And then I buy these really amazing labels. I've had these on for a few months now. They basically have like this plastic part that lifts up. You write underneath it and then you seal it with the plastic part. And they have held up so well. They have not peeled at all. You can wash them tons and tons of time and they do not come off. The writing doesn't fade so you can label stuff with these that you wash on a regular basis daily and it doesn't come off i love them i will link to those below for you guys and then i just keep all our water bottles in this bin we take it to the park all the time keep it in the stroller in one of the seats and it goes everywhere with us now when it comes to snack time because i don't like to do a lot of dishes i do the plates and everything I showed you before for breakfast and lunch, then I run them through the dishwasher right after lunch, and then I don't like to have any more daycare dishes for the rest of the day if I can help it. So for snacks, what I use to make it really quick and easy is either half a paper plate for snacks, so I'll put like their pretzels and hummus or their grapes and cheese or whatever we're having on this little half, or I will use coffee filters, which work really well too. Just really depends on what we're having. If it's something that can like soak through, I'll use these. If it's like goldfish and string cheese or whatever it may be that's like doesn't soak through, I will use these. So um, way more inexpensive way of doing it than like small paper plates or you know, that kind of thing. I talked about this in my infant video as well, but my favorite bibs by far are these summer infant bibs i love them they can be adjusted i put them in the dishwasher and it catches the food they're really easy to clean they're also great for on the go you can roll them up take them with you and just wipe them down with a wipe afterwards and they work amazingly well i love these now when it actually comes time to cook there are so many different things i love but when it comes to daycare my three favorite things in the kitchen are our grape cutter. I love these. Grapes are one of the most common choking hazards for little kids and so this cuts them into four and it's really easy to use. You just stick the grape in and push it and it slices it. Um, I just stick this in the dishwasher when I'm done and it works great. Another tool I love is our pineapple knife. I use it all the time for cutting pineapple. It just makes it really really simple. And I also could run this in the dishwasher, so I love that. And then about six months ago, we switched to these Green Life cooking pots and pans. And I love these because they don't have Teflon that can be poisonous, especially if it gets scratched and, you know, it's making contact with your food. These are completely 100% safe. And they are really non-stick, which I love. Easy to clean. They can go in the dishwasher. Hopefully you're noticing a theme here. I love when stuff can go in the dishwasher. It saves time and they come in really really cute colors and are super affordable when it comes to stools i really think you can't go wrong with the ikea stools i've had this one for four and a half years it's still going strong it's very sturdy very inexpensive all the kids have used it at some point or another and i just love it and it's white so it blends in pretty well you really can't go wrong with the ikea stools now lastly, when it comes to cleanup, I absolutely love using a dish bin system with wipes as well. So I have three of these dish bins along our fireplace. I've also had them on ottomans in the past and you could set them up on chairs or even on the floor. And the kids, when they are done, if they're like two and over and obviously old enough to be responsible and not make a giant mess, they dump their plate all the food goes in one then they take their plate and their silverware and put it in the second one that's the stuff that i wash and then the third one is for napkins and wipes so after they dump everything then they grab a wipe out of our wipes container um, that i've had for many many years it is the oxo brand oxo and i just keep some target wipes in here they wipe their hands and face and then we will either wash our hands again if it's really messy or I will use an alcohol-free sanitizer um, after we eat 
as well. So it works really, really well and it really helps them learn to be independent and responsible and I have a whole video on that as well. If you're interested, I'll leave that in the description. So let me know guys, what products do you use when it comes to meal times that really make your meal times go smoother? If you wanna see more things about like high chairs and stuff that I use with the babies, I will leave a link to that video below so you can find out what I use for that. And as always, thank you guys so much for watching. I appreciate you guys so much. I'll see you next time. Bye guys.